the last card, I wanted to make a card that had kind of a nature scene um, that was a little bit more um, nature inspired. So um, these are this die cut here with the little cattails. Just so you know, I took the Nouveau Crystal Drops, the copper penny color, and I squirted it at the top of the little cattails so the cattails look a little bit more dimensional, um, which I really, really love. And in that same set, there's also these little dragonflies. Um, in the same die cut set and so i cut up the little dragonflies out of this really be beautiful iridescent um, handmade paper that i absolutely love and also a tiny little itty bitty hello sentiment okay all right so to make the card what you're going to do here is you'll see that at the bottom of your card here there's this empty space you're going to take your double-sided tape and you're going to roll it right beneath right below where those cat tail the cattail stencil is sitting now the stencil is actually the reverse die cut from these die cuts, the little piece that's left over, I used as a stencil for doing the background. So now that you have your double-sided tape there, you're gonna take your mesh ribbon and you're gonna lay it along the bottom. And it's gonna um, just go right above that double-sided tape, okay? I'm gonna stick that down. And then you're gonna put down double-sided tape. I would say it's about an eighth of an inch uh, below the top of that mesh ribbon. And now you're gonna lay down your brown. And when you lay down the brown, you're gonna see a tiny little hint of that um, mesh ribbon sticking up above it and it kind of makes it look a little bit kind of marshy looking which I really really like. All right now you're going to flip this over and you're going to trim off the green mesh ribbon okay and I'm just going to put it here and now you'll end up with I would say about maybe that's a little maybe three eighths of an inch is how wide that is so it's not very much but you could save that for another project or a, a collage card you could absolutely save that little scrap for but you could save it for something else okay all right now what we're going to do here is we're going to glue on our little cattails and you might need to trim them down just slightly so then that way they are going to you're not going to go up too high on the card we don't want it to come off of the card so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down some glue. And you can decide to only adhere them at the bottom on those little stems, or you can decide to adhere them all the way to the top. I really like that they kind of are a little bit more dimensional and that they kind of stick up on the top there, okay? And I, you'll notice I tuck them just beneath that top little layer of the mesh. And we're gonna probably have to trim all of these down. All right, a little bit of glue there. And you're gonna kind of mix and match where um, your little cattails are gonna sit. And the background, of course, it's not perfect, but just to kind of make it look a little bit more dimensional, I did the stencil background, because um, I, I really like how that looks. All right, I'm gonna lay this guy down over here. Okay. All right, and then you have your little dragonflies, and you can kind of, sometimes I kind of move them around and kind of throw them down, of like, oh, it might look kind of fun here or here, but you can really decide where you wanna lay down your dragonflies. It's really up to you. And when I glue these down, I only glue down their bodies because I really like that their wings are a little bit dimensional. Of course, if you would prefer to have them fully glued down, that's totally up to you. I like having a little bit of dimension. I also like my dragonflies to fly in different directions. And then down here, oh, I somehow ended up with three little, little ones. Well, you can put, if you have it, two large ones, which you should, um, you can put a large one on the inside with the hello, or if you like having a small one, you can decide which one you'd like to lay down there. The hello is just down here in the corner on the inside. And then our last and final dragonfly, I'm actually going to glue this one down a little bit more flat, is just going to be down here. Okay, next to our little tiny sentiment. So not a super difficult card, but oh, there's one more thing. You have your iridescent ribbon. And this is going to wrap around and we're going to tie it out on the front and you have a bit of excess ribbon here um, this ribbon gets damaged really easily so i apologize if yours has a little bit of a kind of a bloop in it and you'll if yours has a bloop in it you'll know what i'm talking about if it doesn't then you're fine but if you find that yours is too damaged to use come by and i'll cut you another piece okay all right so i'm going to go ahead and tie a little bow here I'm just going to make that kind of a small bow. All right. And then we're just going to trim off the tails. And yes, you're going to have a bit of excess for your little tails. And um, I like having my bow right down here, but you can scoot that over by kind of bending your card this direction and kind of moving it over if you'd like. 
and that way your bow can kind of sit in a different location if you'd like it to be somewhere else okay all right there we are so that is card number two isn't that so much fun oh i just love that card love 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 um i was telling people in class that you could easily make this card without the dragonflies and if you had a heron stamp or some kind or a heron image you put the heron there and it could easily be a more masculine card so you definitely have options for making this card a little bit different if you would like okay all right on to the third card